The world of Dune is a dangerous place for Antpolitex, but in it are heroes and villains with amazing and deadly fighting skills. Hey, welcome back to Flix Go, where the universe of cinema comes alive on fan. In today's video, we are diving deep into the science of Arrakis to bring you the top 10 best fighters in Dune. We are ranking the 10 companions who defy the art of battle in the Dune universe. Throughout Denis Villeneuve's two Dune films, the audience is introduced to many fine fighters who all have great accomplishments to their name. Some of them were born into harsh conditions and had to fight to survive. Others received the highest caliber of training, while a few were just born with an edit cruelty that fuels their violence. This list is concerned only with the Dune films, a ranking of the box fighters would look very different. And hey, hit the like button, subscribe and ring the bell to join our community of movies buffs. Let's get started. Number 10. Beast Traven Beast Traven was a violent leader and held back the free men during his first stand on Arrakis. Count Glossu Rabin Better known as Beast Traven by the free men whom he tormented, was the oldest nephew to Baron Harkonnen and ruler of Arrakis, both before it was added to House Atreides and after the death of Duke Leto. Rabin was never the smartest tactician and preferred to rule with brute strength and fear. His tactic worked well enough during his initial stint in the position, but during Dune Part 2, where the Freeman attacks become bolder, he starts to lose control. After a Freeman attacks on a spice facility, he leads an assault against the perpetrators. During the assault, Raven and his men are ambushed. Raven holds his own better than most of his men, but is still no match for the Freeman forces. Number 9. Sardaukar the Sardaukar are the Emperor's elite soldiers, they defeated the Atreides forces in one night. The Sardaukar are the Emperor's personal army and are feared throughout the Empyrean as the fiercest warriors in the universe. From birth, Sardaukar are raised in the harsh conditions of Salusa Secundus, where they are taught discipline, combat and cruelty and bestowed with a fierce loyalty to their leaders. The Sardaukar are a major step up from Raven, yet still only placed ninth on this list. Their greatest accomplishment in the films is taking out the Atreides forces in one night. Because conditioning is such an important factor in the Dune universe, no normal soldier can stand against them. But the rest of the characters on this list are far more than that. Number 8. Gurney Halleck Gurney Halleck trained the Atreides army. Gurney Halleck was the war master for House Atreides under Duke Leto. As such, all military matters for the whole army went through him. Halleck is unique on this list for being both a fighter and a poet. He is as skilled with a ballast as he was with a plate. During the assault on House Atreides, Halleck held his own against an onslaught of Sardaukar and managed to escape the battle unscathed. He then proved his adaptability, working as security for a spy smuggler before earning the respect of the free man and leading one of the fronts when they attacked Arakeen. Halleck was one of Paul's primary teacher and was also responsible for training all the Atreides forces. Number 7. Jameis Jameis was a strong fighter among the free men and stood up to pull in single combat. In the same way that the Sardaukar were raised from birth in harsh conditions in order to become fearsome warriors, the free men endured a similar experience. Born on the inhospitable conditions of Arrakis, Jameis had to learn quickly how to fight in order to survive. He gained a reputation among the free men for being a mighty and loyal warrior, always serving his siege well in times of combat. His undoing was underestimating Paul and challenging him to a duel. It's a testament to Jamie's skill that he was able to last so long against someone with the completeness and diversity of training that Paul possessed. Number 6. Steelgar, leader of a free man's siege. His leadership based on strength. Among the free man leadership is based on strength. Any member of a siege has the right to call out its leader and face them in one-on-one -on -one duel. If the challenger wins, they must kill the old leader, and then they gain control of the siege. This is how Steelgar came into this position years before he ever met Paul. Steelgar would have fended of many challenges during this time as leader, including one from Jamius. In the second film, he trains Paul in the ways of the free man and orchestras the escalation of attacks against the Harkonnens. Steelgar never demonstrates the full extent of his power on screen, but any siege leader is among the mightiest freemen. 
who themselves are some of the strongest warriors in the universe. Number 5. Chani Chani grew into a powerful warrior. Chani was raised in the same harsh desert conditions as her peers, but there was always something special about her. By the time Paul comes to Arrakis and meets up with her, Chani has already become an accomplished fighter and is well versed in using the environment around her as seen when she outflanks Paul at their first encounter. Where Chani finds herself exhaling from her peers as in her adaptability, she's born into the ways of Arrakis and masters them effortlessly. But unlike her elders, especially Steelgar, she's not married to a regular traditional way of doing things. This gives her greater scope to grow, and she learns as much from Paul as he learns from her. She proves her strength by leading raids against the spies farmers and also fronting one of the assaults on the Harkonnen-controlled Arakeen. Number 4. Duncan Idaho Duncan Idaho was House Atreides' finest fighter, held his own against a squadron of Sardaukar. Duncan Idaho was an Atreides swordmaster and the most charismatic and lethal fighter in all of their forces. He served as Paul's weapons master and Kaladan and was entrusted with a secret mission when House Atreides first moved to Argus. Idaho survived in his own in the desert for weeks and proved himself worthy in combat against the free man to win the respect. Towards the end of the first film, he takes on a full squadron of Sardaukar. Even after being stabbed, he's able to fight through the pain and takes out many of them before finally falling himself. In the box, it's noted that although Idaho is the more graceful swordsman, Gurney Hillick is the more lethal. While it's hard to say if the film definitively disproved this, Hillick's role is shifted more to a mentor and commander, while Idaho raised the power takes center stage at a few key moments. Number 3. Jessica Jessica is a powerful Bene Gesserit. Don't be fooled by appearance. Paul's mother, Jessica, is probably the highest trained character to feature in Dune movies, containing the blood of the Harkonnens and be concubine to House Atreides. Jessica received the very best of the Bene Gesserit training. This gave her perfect discipline and complete conscious control over every muscle in her body. The band just read hand-to-hand -hand combat style used these enchantments to create a form faster and more potent than others in the universe. Jessica also had a heightened sense of her surroundings and was able to command others with the voice in the second film. Jessica devotes herself to mental rather than physical powers, but if she ever needed to use the full extent of her abilities, she would be almost unstoppable. Number 2. Paul Atreides Paul Atreides learned from many places and defeated Fade Rothai in single combat. Perhaps unsurprisingly, Dune Star is also one of its most potent fighters. At the end of the first film, Paul proves his combat abilities by killing the ardent Freeman warrior Damis. He then goes and examines his reputation by learning the Freeman ways, leading assaults against spies farmers and fronting the final assault to defeat the Harkonnens. His greatest single fighting accomplishments is killing Feed Rothai in one on one duel at the end of Dune Part 2. Paul's skills as a fighter come from the complete roundedness of his training. He learned fighting from the best sword masters and Duncan Idaho and Gurney Halleck. He learned the ways of the Benny just read from his mother Jessica and was taught the harsh ways of Arrakis by Stilgar and Chani. Combining all of these techniques is what makes Paul a complete and deadly fighter. Number 1. Fiedrotha Fiedrotha was born a vicious killer and had the upper hand on Paul for most of the fight. A key theme of the Dune films is that the way a person is raised significantly impacts their abilities. Because Paul and Jessica were not born in the desert, there are constant questions about how will they can assimilate. To this end, in spite of all Paul's training, Fiedrotha is still the most capable fighter in Dune. This was further proven in this epic black and white fight sequence. The younger nephew of Baron Harkonnen, Fiedrotha, spends his whole life gleefully indulging in cruelty. Paul is shown in the first film to be a reluctant fighter, but Fiedrotha releases it. 
Although Bull eventually wins the fight between the two of them, Fedrotha spends most of it holding the upper hand. Possibly only losing because he didn't deliver the final blow when he had the chance. Despite all of Paul's training, he was never born into violence. And in World of Dune, that's the hardest obstacle to overcome. And there you have it. The 10 best fighters in Dune Warriors, who not only shape the fate of Arrakis, but also capture our imagination with their bravery and skills. What do you think? Did your favorite fighter make the list? Let us know in the comments below, and if you've got a different ranking in mind, comment below. If you enjoyed this journey through the dunes, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to share this video with fellow dune enthusiasts. For more content like this, if exploring the depth of film and series, flex go at your destination. Subscribe and turn on notifications to never miss out on the action. Until next time, keep exploring the vast world cinema has to offer. Farewell and may the spies be with you.